Jed will be heading for Twin Falls Saloon by nightfall, and he'll be alone. Go get a couple of the boys. We'll ride out and make sure he doesn't leave the place alive. That ought to bust this range for him wide open. You was listening. You hurt me, my friend. I'm a tinker and not a listener. All I do is tinker all day long. <laughs>
and they were convicted. You think maybe the same thing's going on around here? I never can tell. So lid pipe thinks that somebody's doing some rustling. Well, we're going to catch whoever it is. Tex, you better let the sheriff here swear you in as a deputy. We're going to need your help. No, sir, not me. I'm a lawyer, not a gunfighter. Well, that ain't the way I heard it, you young whippersnapper. Pin this on. You're hereby deputized. Hey, we've got to get to Twin Falls quick. What are you talking about? Well, they're going to waylay Jed Moore and kill him. Who's going to waylay him? I don't know. I was hanging around Gaynor's ranch like Dave told me to, a part in men's, I mean amended parts, when a couple of fellas rode up like he's going to a fire. They went inside, and I sneaked up and heard them talking. Were the names mentioned? No, but I uh, almost got caught. A fellow with a big black handlebar mustache. Oh, he was a tough hombre, if you ask me. Well, that description fits Pete Magoo. He'd hire his guns out to anybody. Maybe we better pick him up and make him talk. We haven't got time, Sheriff. Come on, Tex. We're riding to Twin Falls. Oh, I'm parked, Sheriff. Uh, could I have a drink of water? Hey, wait for me. that you was talking about? Yeah. It's Pete Magoo, all right. And there's another one sitting back there playing solitaire that rode up to the ranch house this afternoon. Well, there's something must be wrong with your eyesight. Sam Taylor's one of the most respected men in this territory. Well, I don't care about that. You rode up there this afternoon with a fellow down on a dark belt with a white circle around it. Bill Gainer. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm betting he's around here somewhere, too. Tex, you watch for Jed outside. We'll stick here in case he comes in the side door.
Who's the cook? You guessed it. Like a magic man, Who, me? Not at all. But you're wasting your time if you suspect me of killing Jed. Hasn't been fired. I guess I owe you an apology. Forget it. Well, I'm sorry this had to happen, Dave. Now the Circle D men will wipe out every sheep herder they can find. The range wall spread all over the territory. Unless we can stop them. Uh, how are you going to do that? Put the Circle D men in jail the minute they start anything. That's right. And you can bet they'll be gunning for the lane outfit. We'll be around when they do. Jed's death won't be forgotten. We'll surprise those sheep herders and kill every one of them, including the woman born. Norm, when you get your horse saddled, ride out and see how the sheep on Flat Meadow are doing. Yes, ma'am. Your guns. Keep low and come here. Keep low. Stick your neckerchief up, Panhandle, so they'll quit shooting. Stick my neck up and get shot? Not with my head on it. Sheep camp for a little pow, Alvernon. What? It's going to go pretty hard with you men if any of those herders are dead. Good going. All right, put your guns away. Any of your men hurt, Ruth? Randy's wounded in the arm, that's all. Who started the fight? They did. Showed up and started shooting. One of her men killed Jed Moore last night. We were in the saloon, and we don't think the sheep men had anything to do with the murder. Vernon, I'm taking you and your men to jail. You old fool, you can't do that. Oh, yes, he can. Even if these people did kill your partner, you've got no right to take the law into your own hands and start a gunfight. That's right, Vernon. You'll get plenty of time to think this over in jail. You stupid idiot. Do you realize if you put us in jail, these sheep herders will run all the cattle off the Circle D? You should have thought of that before you started shooting. No point in arguing, Tex. I'm locking them up. Get to your horses.
Sheriff, as soon as you get them all in jail, be sure that Sam Taylor hears about it. All right, but I hope you know what you're doing. I haven't got time for coffee. Miss Ruth's holding a meeting in the main hour. You better go on in there. All right. What about a cup of coffee? I just told you you didn't have time for coffee. You didn't tell me nothing. I told you Miss Ruth was holding a meeting in the main house. Now get on in there. All right. I'd like to have a cup of coffee. Take mine. Anybody can get around a house that fast deserves coffee. I haven't been around a house. Uh, uh, Ed, they have a meeting over at the main house. They want us over there. without putting you under lock and key also. Arrest us? Why, that's ridiculous. I don't get on your high horse, Ruth. We're not really locking you up. You and your men will be allowed to stay here at the ranch under guard. You've got no right to hold us. Well, we haven't uh, done uh, anything. It ain't what you've done. It's what you might do that worries the boys. I suppose this is your idea of how to enforce the law, Mr. Haynes. Well, knowing a little about legal matters sure helps. According to territorial law, you can be held for seven to two hours. That'll give the sheriff and Dave here time enough to investigate the recent gunplay. And if 72 hours isn't enough, we'll have to find another charge to hold you on. You accepted our hospitality only to trick us. Can't explain everything to you now, Ruth. But you'll find out that it's for your own good. And how do you stick around here and keep your eye on them and don't let them get away? Oh, well, no prisoners ever got away from me. Get over there. We're gonna put the horses away. I don't want anybody to know they're here. Oh, go ahead. You can trust me to take care of everything.
Sailing those Circle D ranchers might be a trick. Magoon, ride over and keep an eye on those sheep herders. Gainer, go down the canyons and Circle D line fence. The horses are all set. We'll wait so you know what to do if we give you the signal. Sure took the bait all right. Now we'll start the boys cleaning the cattle off the Circle D. Then ride in and pick off those men in jail just like rats in the trap, and the sheep men will get blamed for it. I ought to keep this rain, you old blaze. That's right. about this, Tex. Our horses are as fast as that umbrage, and still we can't catch him. That may be a trick to get us away from the Circle D. You go back. I'll see if I can cut him off. Better do a little explaining, Mr. Gaynor. Listen, if I did explain, it wouldn't do you any good. 
You're 25 or 30 miles from the Circle D right now. Your old horse is all played out. That old nag could fall over dead if you rode him back there now. Well, that's true. My horse is tired, but he ain't no nag. And it's also true that your friends are rustling at the Circle D right now. Not my friends. The sheep herders. You won't blame this one on the herders. They're all under guard at the Box Canyon Ranch. Looks like you and your friends outsmarted yourselves this time. I think I'll tie you up. Let you think over your sins. Why are you cutting grooves in those lead bullets? Well, I used to make my living target shooting. Uh, if you cut grooves in them, they shoot crooked. But well, why do you want to shoot crooked? Oh, well, I don't. I know how to control them. I could even shoot curves with them. Get in this storeroom, all of you. And keep quiet. Hey, you. Get over here where I can see you. Uh, now put that gun on the table. Who's here besides you? Nobody. I think you're lying. Besides, I don't trust you. You know you dropped solder on my pistol yesterday. Oh, that was purely accidental. Purely accidental. Well, if this one goes off now, it ain't going to be purely accidental. I don't doubt that, but uh, I've already told you there ain't nobody here but me. Now, why don't you go on away and leave me alone? Uh, well, uh, what do you want? Nothing. Why? What you motioning for me to come here for? Oh, uh, that. I was just exercising my trigger finger for target practice. Target practice? Yeah. I'm the best shot in three territories. Made a lot of money shooting pistols. You mean that you bet money on shooting your pistol? You bet. I will. Boy, I can shoot rings around you. Well, I got a 10 spot says you can't. Make it 20. All right. We should have said 50. Oh, make it 50. You heard me. Good. Oh, boy. Brother, I'll put this tin cup on the door. Six times out of six. Get hey, out of the hey, way. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute now. We got to make this a fancy shooting match. We'll put these tin cups on her head all and right. shoot them all. Yeah, you can have the first three shots. Besides, you can use some of my special target shooting bullets. Thanks. They wear straighter when you shoot them. I remember. It's a foul if you hit below the eyebrow. I hope these uh, special bullets are as good as you say they are. Because if I plug you, then how am I going to collect my 50? I stand still. Special bullets of yours ain't no good. From now on, I'm a shooting with my own. So wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, that'd be cheating. Cheating? Yeah, I can see you're a better shot than I am, so to make things even, you ought to stand six paces further away from me than I do you. Yeah. Scared, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. 
shame on you. You ain't six paces further from me than I am you. Cheating, huh? Sorry. Well, now back up six paces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get up now. Get up. Get out that window now and beat it. Go on. Come on, a little faster there. Get out of there. Get on your horse and beat it. And don't come back. Out the window, you want to join us? Oh, where'd their mothers go? They're riding to the jail. Hey, they're heading for trouble. I gotta tell Texan Dave. you won't talk. Be terrible if I'd forget where I left you. You wouldn't do that, would you? Oh, I don't know. Sometimes I'm awful forgetful. Say, I just figured out how you outrode me. The first horse you rode had white feet. This one's all the same color. You had a string of relay mounts. And mister, if you can Pony Express ride out here, I can go back to three corners the same way. Then I'll go to the jail and let the Circle D ranchers out, and they'll catch your rustling friends red-handed. You're not going to ride relay all the way to jail. You guessed it. Hey, wait a minute. Being in jail for rustling's one thing, but I ain't hankering to be hung for no murder. And unless you can stop it, those men in jail are going to be killed, and the blame's going to be put on the sheep herders. I'll be back for you, Flash. I'll be back for you, too. off those umbrage in jail. I see you recognize that horse. I think I do, too. It belongs to the rustler that was cutting fence at the Circle D. Well, I don't know what you're talking about. I think you do. Who's working with you? Will it go easy with me, Ranger, if I tell you what's going on? That depends on the judge. Well, I'll have to take that chance, then.
about suspecting Taylor, Tex. I just learned from Magoo here that he plans to take over every ranch in the territory. Well, we've got to get the three corners quick, Dave. Taylor's going to wipe out all the cattlemen we jailed. I haven't time to explain now, Ruth, but Taylor's back of all the rustling in this territory. I'm deputizing all you men to go with me. What is this, another trick? We really need your help, Miss Lane. Taylor and his men are planning to murder all those Circle D men locked in jail. All right, we'll go with you. See if you can guard this Magoo bird, Ten Smith. Get out.
sorry this happened, Vernon, but Taylor and his men almost outsmarted us. Yeah, they were stealing the sheep and the cattle and keeping you men fighting each other. I'll get well quick now that you've rounded them up, Tex. Well, you better because you have some more prisoners to bring in. Long time gone, babe, long time gone. All my own, you're all my own. How I miss you so far away. Thinking of you night and day every time I hear your name that old feeling is still the same waiting for up here so we can shiveree Tex and Ruth. Why shiveree? They're not married. No, but you never can tell. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you up and around, Jim. I'm glad to be up. You, uh, lose something, Panhandle? Yeah, I, I had a present for Miss Ruth. I think you left it outside. Oh, yeah, that's right, I did. Thank <laughs> you.